When the world of bodybuilding, many giants are born. Some of them weigh over 300 pounds, but one mass monster exceeded 420 pounds, earning the nickname, the gentle giant in the bodybuilding industry. Greg Kovacs, also known as the gentle giant, was a Canadian bodybuilder who astonished the bodybuilding world with his enormous muscle size and unbelievable strength. Um, I started first, I started lifting weights when I was 17 years old in conjunction with my hockey. And then uh, I started really liking lifting the weights a lot more than the, the hockey itself. So I quit hockey and started lifting weights regularly. Um, I didn't really know about like bodybuilding per se, like going on stage and wearing trunks and things like that. But I really like going to the gym and developing my body and the feel of the iron in my hands and training really heavy. Standing at a towering height of six feet four inches and weighing over 400 pounds during his prime, Kovacs was one of the biggest bodybuilders ever to grace the stage. During the late 90s, Greg Kovacs towered over his competition, boasting more mass on his frame than any other bodybuilder in history. Greg's arms measured over 25 inches, his chest spanned 70 inches, and his legs were a colossal 35 inches around. My arms are about 26 inches, my thighs are about 36, my chest is over 70, things like that. So, to a certain point, it's uh, anybody can develop their physique, but to get to this level, I think it's a lot of genetics. Just as impressive as his immense size was Greg's incredible strength. With a 700 pound bench press for two reps, a 500 pound shoulder press, a 500 pound bent over row, and a 2,025 pound of leg press, Greg is still hailed as the strongest professional bodybuilder of all time. I didn't realize how strong I was until one day I went to a powerlifting contest in my hometown and the top bench was 430 pounds and I looked at the weight and I said, wait a minute, that's not very heavy. I went up there and I benched it like 19 times and then I walked out and then there was another, uh, I was reading a magazine and it said, Ted R.C. is the strongest man in the world, can be behind the neck press 360 pounds for four reps, nobody's ever pressed over 400 pounds behind the neck and I was already doing 405 for like six to eight reps behind the neck when I was 19 years old. Throughout his career, Greg shared his expertise on sports nutrition and strength training with thousands of athletes worldwide. Conducting seminars in Hawaii, Australia, Spain, England, Greece, Germany and Russia. From a young age, he harbored a deep passion for sports, including football and weightlifting. It became apparent early on that he possessed an extraordinary genetic gift for muscle development. I feel like a little mouse against this, uh, sitting up against this big elephant. He's huge. Despite encountering obstacles such as injuries and setbacks, Kovacs remained resilient and committed to the pursuit of bodybuilding. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't really know how strong I was is because I trained in my basement by myself, so I had no real anything to compare it to. The same with my body weight. I never, had, I never knew how big there were people were out there. Like within my first year, I went from 240 pounds to 300 pounds. And uh, I guess that's, a, that's outstanding, but I thought it was no big deal. My parents really didn't think much of it either because I just ate a lot of food in groups. This dedication marked the beginning of a journey that would push the boundaries of human strength and size.
throughout his path, Kovacs overcame challenges, continually aiming for greater achievements in strength and size. His relentless determination left an enduring impact on the landscape of bodybuilding. Greg Kovacs embarked on his competitive bodybuilding journey in the 1990s, swiftly garnering acclaim for his immense stature and formidable strength. He participated in esteemed events like the Mr. Olympia, the Arnold Classic, and the IFBB Pro League, establishing himself as a dominant presence. On stage, Kovacs commanded attention with his towering figure, defined by bulging muscles and a dense physique, asserting his status as a formidable contender. In 1996, Greg Kovacs earned his IFBB Pro card, becoming known as the strongest bodybuilder by winning the Canadian National Championships. Despite facing challenges in subsequent competitions, such as the IFBB Night of Champions, and the IFBB Ironman Pro Invitational in 1997 and 1998, where he finished 16th, Kovacs remained undeterred. His journey continued with appearances at events like the 2001 IFBB Night of Champions, where he didn't place, and the 2004 Arnold Classic, where he finished 13th. In 2005, Kovacs competed at the Toronto Pro Invitational, although he did not secure a placement. Despite varying outcomes, Kovacs' dedication and perseverance left an indelible mark on the bodybuilding world. He followed an intense and grueling training routine that focused on heavy weightlifting. Um, when it comes to any special training secrets and things like that, uh, I believe in training full range, everything's full range. Uh, I really emphasize the negative and uh, come to a full contraction, training in the maybe six to eight rep range. Uh, up till about a year ago, I used to only do half reps on certain exercises, but I found four reps are better, you develop the full muscle better that way. Kovac gained renown for his extraordinary strength, demonstrating the capacity to hoist colossal weights that surpassed the capabilities of the average bodybuilder. Additionally, he embraced unconventional training methodologies like partial reps and static holds, which serve to intensify muscular engagement and propel him beyond conventional limits. During his off-season, Greg consumed nearly 10,000 calories per day. However, when aiming to shed weight, he reduced his intake to around 8,000 calories daily. As he prepared for competitions or championships, his calorie intake further decreased to approximately 5,500 per day. To manage his calorie intake effectively, Greg divided his meals into six, seven smaller portions throughout the day, spacing them out every two hours. During periods of weight gain, he emphasized a higher carbohydrate intake. Conversely, when preparing for competitions, Greg focused on burning calories and reducing his carbohydrate consumption. Greg retired from competitive bodybuilding in 2005 to establish his own business and coach aspiring athletes. Tragically, Kovac died on November 22, 2013, at approximately 9.50 p.m. in his Mississauga, Ontario condominium from heart failure. He is survived by his parents and two sisters. Kovacs had no children.